Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode we have titled Itty Bitty Living Space. Yeah, you remember that from mm -hmm. uh, Aladdin? Mm -hmm. Disney's yeah. Aladdin, uh, uh -huh. the genie. Uh huh. Play Phenomenal up. cosmic power. Itty Bitty Living Space. Yeah. Robin Williams at his best. Exactly. <laughs> I, I thought he did pretty awesome. Yep. Um, okay, so why itty bitty live in space? Uh, 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 Solomon's oh. Prayer, right? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. He says when he's at the dedication of the temple. The ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh -huh. When he's praying, he says, he asks the question, but will God indeed dwell with man on the earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you. How much less this house that I have built. So uh, basically, phenomenal cosmic power and and more so. Like yeah. I, I mean, he's going. God, you can't be contained by the universe by by anything. Uh, you're the one who created it all. And um, I mean, I mean, and, and, and what Solomon <laughs> knew of the universe, uh, we, we we actually know a lot more. He didn't and, even know about how uh, intricate our cells are. <laughs> Much less, you know, the and how many stars. billions of galaxies there yeah. are. I mean, it's, we're just, I mean, it's just, woo, galaxies. I mean, this galaxy is huge. Round. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the universe is really big. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, Solomon really should have known the answer a little bit. I think he did. I mean, because before the temple, uh, mm -hmm. the Lord was already dwelling in uh, in the in the tent church. Yeah. Called the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where he set up shop with his people and right. and camped out with them literally for forty years. Mm -hmm. And I just think, you know, if, if God camps out with his people in the wilderness, I think he's going to be with us anywhere we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. If the wilderness uh, wasn't off limits for him. But, you know, Solomon, uh, he was given the beautiful task mm -hmm. of actually building the temple. Yes. And, mm -hmm. uh, and God did squeeze himself mm -hmm. into that, uh, that, uh, that building <laughs> made of bricks and stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, he wants to be with us. He yeah. wants to be with them. <laughs> yep, he does. He does. It, it's a place where he can actually bless them. Mm -hmm. And a place where they can pray. Yeah. You know, said uh, I call that uh, what escalator Christianity. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Where you see in the temple the uh, uh, you know the people's prayers going mm -hmm. up and then uh, God's blessings coming coming down mm -hmm. and God's blessing especially coming to His people at the uh, altar for burnt offering every mm -hmm. evening and morning mm -hmm. right with the Aaronic benediction. Yeah. Numbers n Numbers chapter six. Check it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, the Lord bless you and keep you that keep keep you that benediction given so that mm -hmm. His name can be placed on them. Mm -hmm. yeah yep. so they have access to him right exactly yeah. um yeah yeah but he's he's not gonna stay in a in a temple made of uh sticks and stones forever and human hands oh no well, he's well not there's something even better coming. even better in a, can we get a foretaste of it already with the second temple mm -hmm. like when they have the ribbon cutting ceremony for that second yeah. temple so what yeah. happens well i mean god's glory fills the temple well, and like fire comes down well, and uh, well the first time the, 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 well, sacrifice. The, oh yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, second temple. Yeah, I'm not with second temple. Ah, uh, not the first okay. one. I'm well, going the well, first yeah, temple. No, 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 no. go with the first one okay. though. First, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. First I'll, temple that yeah. Solomon built shortly after this prayer. Um, you know, fire comes down, gets the whole burnt offering, and his God's glory fills the temple. So yeah. I mean, like the priests can't even go in there yeah. because God's glory is filling the temple. Um, yeah. And I mean, that was also even the case with the, the tabernacle. Oh, God's yeah. presence was uh, over the tab tabernacle with a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. So God was present. But then, yeah. pastor's point with the second temple, <laughs> uh, because, yeah, the first temple destroyed Babylonian captivity because, yeah, the Israelites were unfaithful. Right. Putting pagan gods in the temple, not good. Um, <laughs> so they come back and build the temple and... Is there this big ribbon cutting ceremony and glory, Pastor? Well, I mean, there's a ribbon cutting ceremony, but there is no glory cloud. There is no glory and cloud. And they weep. Yes. They cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, because the Lord has plans. Yes. And it will involve a, uh, a teenage girl named mm -hmm. uh, Mary. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mother Mary. Yes. And the angel Gabriel goes to her and mm -hmm. uh, says that you're going to bear the Christ child. Right. And the Holy Spirit overshadows her. A word that actually is used of the of the temple yes uh to mm -hmm. to really talk to, to uh uh you know along with the glory cloud that mm -hmm. the glory cloud overshadows the temple right and uh, and now you have the holy spirit overshadowing mary mm -hmm. really making her a you know temple of god for right. nine months the mobilest mobile yeah. temple <laughs> the, yeah, the, <laughs> way more mobile the than temple the temple with feet yep 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. And I mean, so God, who, who like uh, we heard from Solomon, who cannot be contained, is now getting contained in in the mother Mary's womb. He's getting, you know, very little to yeah. be uh, with Mary and to be with all of us. And she doesn't die. Yeah. Like, you know, this living God, uh, you know, uh, this all-consuming fire uh, mm-hmm. fills her womb and she does not die right uh yeah. you know you know god actually um in a lot of ways like she kind of becomes for me like the burning bush yeah you know you, <laughs> you know the burning bush in uh exodus mm-hmm. uh you know it's just it's this shrub that's uh not being consumed by the by the flame okay. it's on fire it's on but fire. it's not consumed yeah it's not being destroyed and and because i mean our god when he is with us in us he's actually giving life he's yeah. not giving death yeah. Oh, yes. Not yes. Taking away, but filling. Yes. Yeah. And so the incarnation does pave a way for a very special, uh, really, um, uh, reality for all of us. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. that uh, that we have a God who actually doesn't just dwell in Mary. Mm-hmm. But instead, not just Mary, but also uh, you and me and Pastor. He wants to dwell in us. The God who created the heavens and the earth, and who heaven and earth cannot contain wants to come and be in us and he has come to be Mm -hmm. in us through the waters of holy baptism and putting his name on us um through his word Mm -hmm. you know he's coming in through our ears (laughs) to dwell with us and to be with us and um we get to see that really especially in the lord's Mm -hmm. supper where we're getting to receive christ's body and blood and being placed into us because god wants to be with us and and i mean Sit with that for a minute. But God wants to be with you, in you. He's not repulsed mm-hmm. by you. He's not disgusted. He's not going, you're less than. Oh, you wow, know? that's really gross. Yeah. That's really, mm-hmm. that's really yeah. Uh, they yeah. need to get their act together. I, I can't, I know you are a toxic cesspool. Mm-hmm. No, that's not our Lord Jesus. He's going, I want to be with you, in you. Um, mm-hmm. And not only that, but mm-hmm. I want to work through you i want people to see Mm -hmm. me through your actions through the words that you say Mm -hmm. the ways that you uh, help others you know you get to be Mm -hmm. my reflection to the world um so i mean that's you realize how big of a value each one of us um has received a precious prize a precious gift that we have received we get to hold and then but we don't just get to, get to go, my precious. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we don't get to play a golem, but instead we get to go, here, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me be Christ to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah it's, it's, it's really something for me. It's been more and more of just a profound uh, just realities to yeah. sit with and, and think about, you know, what kind of worth I have and, uh, and to re- realize, hey, you know, I'm, I'm never alone, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and if God's at home with me, no matter where I'm going, where, wherever if God is at home with Aaron, then wherever Aaron goes, I'm at home with God. Yes. Like you know, I'm not. So it's, it's not like only Jesus is in the divine service, mm-hmm. but I get to leave with that benediction mm-hmm. uh, at the end, that blessing yeah. of God, and realize I get to go into the world uh, as a mobile temple of yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're getting to carry Jesus out into yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah, and didn't Luther have something like that? Yeah, he called us living monstrances. <laughs> now, monstrances. If you go into a Roman Catholic church, uh, there's this uh, beautiful ornate uh, uh, piece of furniture inside mm-hmm. is actually the consecrated uh, bread. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, so when in the Roman Catholic uh, churches, when a person uh, before they sit down, they generally genuflect, and and they're actually mm-hmm. genuflecting. They're bowing down to mm-hmm. uh, the consecrated host mm-hmm. in the monstrance, and and so uh, because that's where the body of Christ is. Um, so Luther is like, uh, you know, actually, you're the monstrance. Yeah. I'm the monstrance. She's the monstrance. We are living monstrances. Mm-hmm. Monstrances. Monstrances with legs because we yeah. bear in our bodies uh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know, we have to carry Jesus with us. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we get to carry the one with phenomenal cosmic power uh-huh. in itty bitty living space <laughs> in us. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so we have more than enough love mm-hmm. to love the people around us. We have more mm-hmm. than enough mercy to give mercy to the people around us. We have more than enough 
uh, joy, mm -hmm. uh, to rejoice um, always mm -hmm. because of this one who is joy, who is mercy, mm -hmm. who is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, we have more than enough peace. He yeah. is peace. Yeah, well, you he, know? he's our spring of living water. He I is. Mean, he's the one who's giving Inside us Inside of us. Yeah. We get to draw <laughs> from this well of... Uh, you know, there's this bottomless well mm -hmm. uh, that, that is within yeah. us. And that bottomless well is really Jesus. Yeah, so that's why we can go through all the yeah. kind of trials and things that'll feel like they're burning us up, you know, being horrible and going, wait, we won't be consumed because we have Jesus mm -hmm. in us, mm -hmm. um, dwelling with mm -hmm. us, strengthening us, giving us his peace. And then, I mean, that's what makes mm -hmm. then our, our devotions and time... Uh, and the divine service, all of those things so beautiful because then mm -hmm. that's just getting to to receive Jesus yeah. more and more and having him dwell with us and continue to strengthen mm -hmm. us um, to deal with. Sometimes days aren't so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some days aren't so fun. And sometimes it's hard to remember that dear, uh, the dear people you meet that, you know, they belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So And even that we belong to Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. That, Yes. A lot of times it's yeah. harder for us to believe that about ourselves than, yeah. than other people. So that reality for me, there, there's more than enough uh, really to think about, you know, a whole lifetime's worth yeah. uh, to think about. Just like, what, what does it mean for me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as one who now has uh, Christ dwelling in me? What does that mean for me just, just, just personally and then also communally? Mm -hmm. You know, what does that mean for my words, my actions? Yes, you know, absolutely. Even, even what I think about myself. Mm -hmm. um you know I had someone tell me recently you should show more grace to Aaron yeah you're right great grace is I mean I have grace actually dwelling in me yeah exactly Jesus he shows yes. me a lot of grace and Aaron probably should show some grace to Aaron <laughs> I was getting pretty down on myself oh man no that's really good that's a really good point yeah um, yes believing that for you yeah yeah so you're a precious real estate mm -hmm. so is Deaconess so is Aaron uh, precious real estate. You're gonna find it on Zillow, of course, or you know, on any sort of like uh, house website, mm -hmm. you know, homes for sale website. Right. Uh, but you are precious real estate, so precious that uh, even even though we die, we will be raised, resurrected uh, mm -hmm. from the dead, and yeah. uh, and these bodies will forever be real estate for for our God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, by his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. See you later.